discussing Dr. Paul Lenenche with Dr. Ebel Damina, you, you, when we had that discussion, you could see that envy, you could see that jealousy, you could see the hate, you could see the inability to stomach the accomplishment and the achievement ministerially of Dr. Paul Emenche. Uh, and so, uh, in, 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 categorically, in one of the statements, he said, Dr. Paul Emenche is now so big and great, and his impact is everywhere. What has he done for us? He has left us behind. So, let's leverage on his name and, 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 and uh, associate ourselves with his accomplishment for the purpose of relevance. Although like you that you are even coming into Abuja now, it will be easier for you to gain acceptance. They say, they say, they say, no, they use I see pastor wife. They say, if you see pastor wife like this, have you a lot back? Have you a lot back? Have you say, ah, say the reason why your money will be finished as you do, and I say you didn't invest for them. <laughs> or guy investors, <laughs> Sabinus investors. They say, I see the investor. Stay your lane now. Not go let us talk this way. We go make you call God. They use you know say never they used to police station. Now. Not go, go make All I want for Israel is what's best for Israel. Salvation, nothing less. In this video, Apostle Paul Ede Odula asked Dr. Ebedamina to please leave his wife alone. He asked Dr. Ebedamina to please leave his wife alone, according to Apostle Paul Odula. Apostle Paul Udula claimed that Dr. Ebed Amina wants to destroy his marriage. We also have Apostle Kase Chuku in the house. Apostle Kase Chuku also claimed that Dr. Ebed Amina slept with the wife of Apostle Paul Udula. Please kindly watch the video. God bless you. Discussing Dr. Paul Lenenche with Dr. Ebel Damina, when we had that discussion, you could see that envy, you could see that jealousy, you could see the hate, you could see the inability to stomach the accomplishment and the achievement ministerially of Dr. Paul Emenche. And so, uh, in, 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 in categorically, in one of the statements, he said, Dr. Paul Emenche is now so big and great and his impact is everywhere. What has he done for us? He has left us behind. So let's leverage on his name and, 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 and uh, associate ourselves with his accomplishment for the purpose of relevance. Although like you that you are even coming into Abuja now, it will be easier for you to gain acceptance if you say that Dr. Uh, that Dr. Ebel uh, ordained you and Polenenche the same day. That will give you general acceptance. And you see, uh, um, that is the same fallacy that is the same false narrative that I felt I was tired of projecting and the pressure to perpetually put it out there that I had to reconsider my decisions and, and my association so that I don't keep propagating this false narrative born out of hate, jealousy, envy for a man's accomplishment, attainment, ministerial achievement and global impact. And so anybody that listens to the manner and approach with which Dr. Ebel communicates this ordination claim can easily tell the envy, can easily point at the jealousy, can easily see the intent and purpose of which such false claims have been made. And so therefore, I think it is my responsibility to put the record straight. And I can see that because of I have chosen not to be part of that false narrative that was projected and sustained because we all wanted to leverage on the global impact and ministerial achievement of Dr. Paul Enenta, which Dr. Ebel Damina is aware. And I felt that I can't continue to be part of that very false narrative though I was part and parcel of whatever it was and so therefore I want to say this that no amount of blackmail no amount of false publication no amount of um, wrong impression created about me 
will deter me from saying the truth. The record needs to be put straight so that we don't undermine in any way, in any form, the great work that God is using Dr. Paul and Nature to do in our time and in our generation. I, I won't be part of it. And I need you to know that if you look at the accomplishment of this great man and the impact he's making in our generation, his manner of crusades, his healing and deliverances, his lifestyle, his approach to ministry, his principles, his forthrightness, his uprightness, it does not in any way reflect the person and ministry of Dr. Ebel Damina. So therefore, we should not allow that lie to fly. I feel I owe my generation the responsibility to correct that. I want to categorically state that I don't subscribe to the religious, to the doctrinal teachings of Dr. Ebel Damian, Damina and the manner and approach with which he communicates them arrogantly, disrespectfully, undermining the pillars, the spiritual practices I have come to uphold and refer as a pastor and as a Christian. And I want to say this also that that doctrinal teachings has completely done damage um, to my family. And I want to ask that Dr. Ebel Damina leave my family alone. To encourage another man's wife to be arrogant, insubordinate, rebellious, and to attend your crusade personally without the express permission of her husband, whether it's in the Tafabalawa crusade in Bauchi State without my permission, or it was the just crusade you held and she went without my permission, I want to know, I want, I want the world to know that no man of God will encourage another man's wife to be so to be so insubordinate, to be so arrogant, to be so rebellious. So please, if anything happens to my family, I want to say at this point that Dr. Ebel Damina should be held responsible because he is encouraging and supporting certain level of insubordination and lack of submission and rebellious approach to family issues. And if anything happens further, I think he should be held responsible. I want to also say categorically that I have asked my lawyer to reveal all the comments, all the posts, uh, all the rebellious allegations against me, and anyone found to be unfounded, which most, which virtually all are, I am going to take them legally on without reservation. And so if anybody is putting any claim out there, he should be ready. And should have proper evidences for them. Otherwise, we will meet in court. It's important that we clear the air so that we can put this fallacy to rest and not give credibility to lie. Even though ab initial, I was part of that misconception and part of that false narrative. And I've chosen to retract my step for the purpose of posterity. And I believe this should do justice to everyone who knows the truth, wants the truth, and cares for the truth. <laughs> For the sake of our time, number one, ladies and gentlemen, as simple as it sounds, we preach it often as pastors, forget your past. Because you see, God in his own infinite wisdom calls us when we are very, very young with a lot of youthful exuberance. And so before you find stability, you have made a lot of mistakes. And if you don't know how to regenerate yourself daily and yearly, your past will become upon strings, I mean serious limitations, that as much as you want to break into your future, the devil reminds you of the stuffs that happened where you were when you were coming up. It's better you make your mistakes while you are still young, my friend. I say this from personal experiences. Very personal experience. Manager, but maybe I want to ask you a question. Why you never call clear the issue, the accusation that about nine pastors' wives that you have defied? Why you never come at God do video say no? You know sleep with any pastor wife or you know help any pastor uh, wife or put church. Or. For example, a uh, dollar wife ibedamina as he kurwan yo e akrogeti eti fe kurwan yo now so you you sleep with that woman sleep and come up for 
husband has. Your husband get to and your husband and your friend. Now see they go pay, it pay, it can take me late. Hikba, he cut that bene, hikba, that your calabar waste, hikba, he cut that bene, you knock the woman, knock the woman. You can go open church for her with money. See, I I know say all this is the judge. I know say nine makes your people no want to talk to it because they you, you not see no as not they do on herself because if if they tell you, you cause you expose the what they do. So now go scatter the table. Ebe Damila, come and clear that, that, no, you not sleep with the wife or you sleep or not. Leave Jeremiah subway, they say, it not affect your life. How many people you don't even help for your life? No, no, how, no, how many people you don't help? This, at least, as you they preach this, your new gospel now. No, see, yes, as you they preach, huh? God call his somebody, blood call see, lay call walk, as you they talk now, huh? say people call they prosper, call they succeed. People wait, people you don't tell me they really pay tight now. At least by now, they supposed to come and say, Oh, since I stop paying tight, oh, I don't build those steel, I don't buy land, oh, I don't do this one. Do you know that you do a white testimony, huh? do a white testimony, you they forbid testimony. At least by now, suppose they say the dividendy of what you they preach. Now you sting the aka gum. Now you loot people, deceive them, go build school. Even the school where you build now, your member, not a figo, poor man picking on a figo, you they charge big money there. You they charge big money for there. But when you see past the way they do pass you, that jealousy, that hate, go joke hit you, boa. Now you carry Jeremiah and I tell you, this Jeremiah about to you start so now advice I want to advise you. <laughs> Jeremiah matter where you start so I tell you. <laughs> Let me say he don't tell you say he don't ready for you to be popular. <laughs> you see this Jeremiah matter you start so Jeremiah go drag you. He go use his rub car like this. <laughs> Jeremiah, he go drop you, he go knock you. Jeremiah was supposed to be your son in the Lord. Now you the now you the con challenge. Eh? And he get money pass you. He get money pass you. He they help people. Me never see one day. May you see, say ah, and you they give person one thousand or, or you everybody wait there around you, they, they complain. Say that so you stingy. Your hand be like a car go. See, even even the governor of a do state or governor Baseki, say the guy give past you. As a is stingy rich. They say a basic give past. You say you know they give everybody around you, they complain. Oga, leave Jeremiah. Not be Jeremiah. Not be Jeremiah frustrate you for ministry. Not be Jeremiah frustrate you for ministry, Bedamina. Hey, Bedamina, not be Jeremiah frustrate you. Why you never preach against the kingdom of the way they collect uh, kingdom uh, of the way they collect for your church? We are a day for Bible, hey, Bedamina. We are, we are a day. We are a day for Bible. You want get up nice and spiritual things now you want to cut it. No way, we will go throw you arrow. Eh? Arrow will go throw you now. Then I will drop it. Since you know what? You nah, you don't do the one way you feel do. They call look, you can't be like Mumu for internet. You can say you want to come attack spiritual things. <laughs> you are calling on the attention of the spiritual men. And we are here, we are available. If we throw you something, but I mean, you know, go like come. You look, you look, you look, you look, believe what it happen to you. I pray Jeremiah, and I'm just a call advice you. So, the question I want you to answer, Ebedamina, tell us your relationship with a, uh, a, a, a dollar wife. Tell us what it transpired. Uh, I know that I don't talk, and you don't fear, and a police you take on, you carry a car, they wait for you. Tell us, tell the whole world, say. If I all the old bloggers, more than help me as a better I mean, I say, what the apple between him and a dollar wife? Who open, who go open church for a dollar wife? You you are busy destroying people. Oh, what if you pay me pass? Be say, you know go even sleep with young girls now married women. Now they go sleep with. Now what I hear? If not lie, come and cut us in a lie. Come and defend it. Now what you are here. Me they ask you, but I mean, now true say, now married women you they. They go cut your hand. They cut take me nepa. They cut take me. They say, they say, they say, no, they use I see pastor wife. 
The same you see pass away like this. Have you look back? Have you look back? Have you say ah? Say the reason why your money will be finished as you they do and as you they invest for them. <laughs> or guy investors, <laughs> Sabinus investors. They say that so you they invest them. Stay your lane now. Not go let us talk this way. We go make you call cut the use. You know, say you never they used to police station now. Not go, go make us talk this way. Come make you call the cop policemen. They call the arrest us. They look for us. So just behave your behave yourself. Rakiji. I can't warn you. Remove arm for Prophet Jeremiah matter. If they use soap liver, he member they testify. If they work for them, the one where you they use introduce her to people, you will be real. May we see the real way they use. May they cause it patronize you. Ozo, Ozo. Ukutu magia we ban. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to be a man. 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 You're going you see this? That's why they come and they preach all this message. People call it this. Say, oh, people don't call it this sin as anything because you know, so the matter go cast the thing long way away. You know, say, as you they do that, they, they do another person. Oh, you understand? So if they feel, say, if if they call you at, you go see, call them at. We know everything. Behave yourself. No toxic and not tell you. Praise God. My name is Apostle Paul Odola. My attention has been drawn to a video making the rounds uh, purportedly claimed that I said that Dr. Ebel Damina ordained me and Dr. Paul Enenche on the same day and referring to the fact that it was the same oil. Then Reverend Joshua Talina recommended me for ordination by Dr. Ebel Damina in 1995. In 95, we were scheduled for ordination to be ordained in 1996 Minister's Conference, February the 7th. And in that ordination, I was recommended to be ordained. I and Dr. Paul Enenche were the two ministers ordained. I was ordained the same day by the same man in the same place. With the same bottle of oil that came on Dr. Paul Lenenche. We were ordained to be grafted into the branches that Dr. Ebel Damina was planning to open. Reverend Joshua Telina had started church in Joss. I was supposed to go to Gombe to start Dr. Ebel Damina's church. I am saying this for record. I'm on the air. Dr. Paul Lenenche was to come to Abuja to start Dr. Ebel's branch. So we were all ordained in 1996, warming up for our location. When we came back from Aquaibom, by May, Telina had pulled out by the leading of the Holy Ghost from Dr. Ebel Damina. And um, we looked into why he left and we discovered it would be our reputation. So therefore, we were no longer willing to go in the name of Dr. Ebel Damina's ministry anymore. So Dr. Paul Lenenche came to Abuja with his own name. And me, because the separation of Dr. Ebel and Joshua Telina was too sudden for me, I didn't know what name to use. So, therefore, it was Dr. Joshua Telina that recommended me to Dr. Ebel Damina. So, I went to Telina. I said, you know that I was to go with Power Chapel in Gombe. Now that you are out, what name do I go? God has not told me anything. So, he said, stay with me. I said, I can't stay with you in Joss. I have already started surveying Gombe. It's okay. Um, my, the name of my own church now is, then it was Agape. He said, go in Agape to Gombe. When God tells you what name to use, come back to me. So I went to Gombe in 1997. In the name, yes. In the name of Agape Power Assembly by Joshua Telina. By 1998, one year after Agape, it became clear what God wants me to do. I was to, to be on the mandate of restoring the dignity of humanity. And he said the name is Dominion Power Assembly. See, this is the same 
false narrative projected that was construed that I am choosing to correct. I am doing this video in response to some of the very malicious publications that I've seen on social media all in an attempt to tarnish my image, rubbish my personality because I have come out to publicly deny and correct the false allegation that Dr. Ebel Damina ordained Dr. Paul Enenche into ministry. Looking at the pictures on uh, the, my Facebook, what happened in 1996 was not an ordination service. I want to say this categorically. It was an official prayer to license me as the coordinator of ICMA in Bauchi State. That prayer was not an ordination. Everybody that was in that 1996 ministers conference will agree with me that it was not an ordination service. I was officially prayed for as a coordinator of ICMA in Bauchi State and I was given a coordinator certificate and a fellowship card from 1996 to 1997 as it is on the post. So no, no one can claim that anyone else was equally ordained on that day into ministry. I think it is important that I clear the air on this matter and put it to rest that it was not an ordination service that happened on that day. This video is to put the record straight. What happened on that day was not an ordination because nobody should lay claim to another man's greatness and impact. So like the picture shows, there was no ordination done on that day. It was an official prayer for me as a licensed coordinator of ICMA, the International Charismatic Ministers Association in, in Bauchi State. And so therefore, no other person was prayed for as a form of ordination on that day. Because what happened on that day was not an ordination service. And it's important that this record is clear. I was given a certificate as a coordinator for ICMA in Bauchi State and a card of fellowship with Dr. Ebel Damina for a year, the year 1996 to 1997. I think this should be able to clear the air and put the record straight. Discussing Dr. Paul Lenenche with Dr. Ebel Damina, when we had that discussion, you could see that envy, you could see that jealousy, you could see the hate, you could see the inability to stomach the accomplishment and the achievement ministerially of Dr. Paul Enenche. And so, uh, in, in, in categorically, in one of the statements, he said, Dr. Paul Enenche is now so big and great, and his impact is everywhere. What has he done for us? He has left us behind. So, let's leverage on his name and, 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 and associate ourselves with his accomplishment for the purpose of relevance. Although like you that you are even coming into Abuja now, it will be easier for you to gain acceptance if you say that Dr. Uh, that Dr. Ebel uh, ordained you and Polenenche the same day. That will give you general acceptance. And you see, uh, um, that is the same fallacy. That is the same false narrative that I felt I was tired of projecting and the pressure to perpetually put it out there that I had to reconsider my decisions and, and my association so that I don't keep propagating this false narrative born out of hate, jealousy, envy for a man's accomplishment, attainment, ministerial achievement, and global impact. And so anybody that listens to the manner and approach with which Dr. Ebel communicates this ordination claim can easily tell the envy, can easily point at the jealousy, can easily see the intent and purpose of which such false claims have been made. And so therefore, I think it is my responsibility to put the record straight. And I can see that because of I have chosen not to be part of that false narrative that was projected and sustained because we all wanted to leverage 
on the global impact and ministerial achievement of Dr. Paul Enenta, which Dr. Abel Damina is aware. And I felt that I can't continue to be part of that very false narrative. Though I was part and parcel of whatever it was. And so, therefore, I want to say this, that no amount of blackmail, no amount of false publication, no amount of um, wrong impression created about me will deter me from saying the truth. The record needs to be put straight so that we don't undermine in any way, in any form, the great work that God is using Dr. Paul and Nancy to do in our time and in our generation. I, I won't be part of it. And I need you to know that if you look at the accomplishment of this great man and the impact he's making in our generation, his manner of crusades, his healing and deliverances, his lifestyle, his approach to ministry, his principles, his forthrightness, his uprightness, it does not in any way reflect the person and ministry of Dr. Ebel Damina. So therefore, we should not allow that lie to fly. I feel I owe my generation the responsibility to correct that. I want to categorically state that I don't subscribe to the religious, to the doctrinal teachings of Dr. Ebel Damina and the manner and approach with which he communicates them arrogantly, disrespectfully, undermining the pillars, the spiritual practices I have come to uphold and refer as a pastor and as a Christian. And I want to say this also, that that doctrinal teachings has completely done damage um, to my family. And I want to ask that Dr. Ebel Damina leave my family alone. To encourage another man's wife to be arrogant, insubordinate, rebellious, and to attend your crusade personally without the express permission of her husband, whether it's in the Tafa Balawa crusade in Bauchi State without my permission, or it was the just crusade you held and she went without my permission, I want to know, I want, I want the world to know that no man of God will encourage another man's wife to be so to be so insubordinate, to be so arrogant, to be so rebellious. So please, if anything happens to my family, I want to say at this point that Dr. Ebel Damina should be held responsible because he is encouraging and supporting such level of insubordination and lack of submission and rebellious approach to family issues. And if anything happens further, I think he should be held responsible. I want to also say categorically that I have asked my lawyer to reveal all the comments, all the posts, uh, all the rebellious allegations against me. And anyone found to be unfounded, which most, which virtually all are, I am going to take them legally on without reservation. And so if anybody is putting any claim out there, he should be ready. And should have proper evidences for them. Otherwise, we will meet in court. It's important that we clear the air so that we can put this fallacy to rest and not give credibility to lie. Even though at the initial, I was part of that misconception and part of that false narrative. And I've chosen to retract my step for the purpose of posterity. And I believe this should do justice to everyone who knows the truth, wants the truth, and cares for the truth. For those that don't understand what is going on, so what really happened was that Apostle Paul Odula made a video before. The first video he made before was that in that video he told the world that it was Dr. Abe Damina that ordained him and Pastor Paul Enichi into ministry. That was what he said in the first video he made. Now, later on, he made another video now. And the second video he made now is that he says that the first video he made was a lie. That it was forced by Dr. Eber Damina to make that video. That it is not true. That Dr. Eber, Dr. Eber Damina never ordained Pastor Paul Enichi. Now, that being said, and now is the, the, the recent claim, the recent video he's making now is that Dr. Eber Damina should leave his wife alone. That Dr. Eber Damina is sleeping with his wife and is about to destroy his marriage. So this is a very serious issue going on currently in the body of Christ. And as of now, no one really knows the truth. 
no one really knows the truth. What we are all just begging for is that God should reveal in the truth himself. God should reveal the truth himself and let them be ashamed. Because when there is light, darkness will disappear. The Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So all this, all, all this confusion, all this, all, all this cacophonics going on, uh, going on on the internet about pastors, it is a very big slap on the body of Christ, on Christianity. So our main prayer now is that God Himself should showcase the truth and disgrace the liars, because they cannot, they can't all be telling lie, and they can't all be telling the truth. So it's obvious that some are telling lie and some are telling the truth. So the, the prayer is that God should reveal those that are telling lie and reveal those that are telling the truth. So if it is Dr. Ibedamina that is telling the truth, God should reveal it. If it is Apostle Odola that is saying the truth, God should reveal it. Because as of now, we don't know who is saying the truth. Dr. Ibedamina says that he was the one that ordained Pastor Paul Enrique into ministry. And Pastor Paul Enrique, Pastor Paul Enrique says that it is a lie. That Dr. Ibed Amina is lying, that he never ordained him into ministry. So we don't really know who is lying and who is saying the truth. Because it's a very serious matter. And now the the spiritual son of Dr. Ibed Amina, which is opposed to Paul Odola, came out now telling the word that Dr. Ibed Amina slept with his wife and is currently about to destroy his marriage. So this is a serious matter. And Dr. Ibed Amina also made a video and came out and, and 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 said no that it's a very big lie and even and even spoke that he doesn't care if people criticize him or not so as of now we don't really know the 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 truth our only prayer is that god himself should reveal the truth so that we will know the really the, the real truth the bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall, and the truth shall set you free we pray that the lord just unveil the truth. The truth now. The truth of this matter. That is that is our main prayer. The truth and nothing but the truth alone. God bless you.